my skin color or my ethnicity or my scar that I thought were impediments or drawbacks or, or weaknesses, but frankly weaknesses that I had no control over, wound up becoming symbols of strength for me personally. Uh, now I get lots of compliments because of my skin color and um, I mean there's no choice, I don't, I don't cover my scar, but I've also met people who think my scar is beautiful. And for me, my skin and my scar are so much a part of who I am that I wouldn't want to change it even if I could. I've also experienced color prejudice the other way. When I was married to Salman, I remember he came to visit uh, my family in, in Madras and we went to Mahabalipuram and they didn't want to charge him the Indian rate because they said he was an Indian because he was so fair, there was no way he could be Indian. And obviously Salman is very Indian, he's a Bombay boy through and through. And at the same time, you know, I also experienced it with my daughter. My daughter's very fair skin because her father's American. And all she wanted was to have my skin color. And when she went to school, in fact, the other, there were a couple of other Gujarati kids in her New York kindergarten class who said, oh, you're not Indian, you're not dark enough to be Indian. So I think our perceptions are very um, mixed up and I think Indians come in all different colors, light, dark, medium. And when somebody calls me dusky, I think that's a compliment. I feel like that means something positive because it's become something positive to me. But I've had to do a lot of thinking and um, re-educating myself, even um, being aware of what I've internalized subconsciously from both cultures, both American and Indian. The one place I never felt I was too dark, I have to say, was in Europe, both in Milan and Paris. I worked the most as a model in those countries and they appreciated me for my color. It was rare to them um, and it was something for them to aspire to. A lot of my Italian girlfriends would, you know, bake in the sun and um, try to get a tan and I didn't obviously have to do that. Um, I think attitudes toward color and ethnicity do change with the times and I think they're changing every day. Um, but I do think prejudice still exists. I think people are discriminated against because of their color. Um, after, you know, when certain models like Ujwala Rao and Lakshmi Menon started working in India, I was cheering from the sidelines because, you know, Lakshmi is not fair like a lot of the Bollywood actresses or neither is Ujwala and yet both these women are drop dead gorgeous and deserve all the success that they've worked hard to achieve. And I think we should value that. We should value hard work and talent and discipline and um, find beauty in all kinds of skin color.